We are talking about solving nonlinear systems and solving quadratic inequalities, and we want to solve the quadratic inequality algebraically. So here we have 3x squared minus 9x minus 12 is greater than 0. So one of the ways that we can solve this is we can factor, and the first thing we can do is we can take a 3 out because all these are divisible by 3, and so we get 3 times x squared minus 3x minus 4 is greater than 0. And then we can factor this into two binomials. So we get 3 times, write our binomial down, and then we get x and x, and two numbers that multiply to, to negative 4, in this case, are going to be 4 and 1. And how do we multiply to get negative 4? One of them has to be positive, one of them has to be negative, but it has to add to a negative 3. So we got negative and positive, and that's going to be greater than 0. And then in this case, we can use our zero product property. So zero product property, and we're going to set each product equal to 0. So one of the products is x minus 4. We set that equal to 0. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. And we get x is equal to 4. And another one that we have, we have x plus 1. We're going to set that equal to 0. So we subtract 1 and subtract 1. And then we get x equals negative 1. So we get the point negative 1, 0, which is right here. And then we get the point 4, 0, which is right there. And we have those points graphed. And then we want to look and see our a value is equal to 3, so that's positive. So that means our parabola is going to open like this. And so we know that it's going to open that way, and at this point we don't really care where our vertex is exactly. Uh, we like to keep it in the middle, or keep it the vertex on the axis symmetry. So if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, so 1, 2, 2.5 is right there. So we're still going to have our axis symmetry, which is in the middle of our two zeros. So that's going to be uh, when we graph those points. Then we have x is equal to 2.5, or 1.5, x is equal to 1.5. And then we know that our, uh, verte our vertex is going to be somewhere on here. We don't know. We haven't calculated exactly, but we know that it's going to open in this direction. And we know that the sign is greater than, so we need to make it be a dash. And now we can look at this and we can say that we have uh, three different parts. So we have this one we'll call part number one. And we'll say that this one is part two. And then this one down here we'll say is part three. So in the original equation, it says, when is the parabola greater than zero? So when we're referring to this, the zero part, that's saying when y is equal to zero. So that's where y is equal to zero. 
So which one of these three parts of the parabola, what part of this parabola are greater than zero? So here's zero, y is equal to zero. Where is the parabola greater than that? Uh, that's gonna be um, both parts one and part two are greater than zero. Part one and part two are greater than zero. So part one and part two are greater than zero, and we're just interested in the x values. So as we go, as we increase this way, our x values continue to go in this direction. And as we increase this way, as we go up, our x values go in this direction, to the left. So the parts that we're not counting, we're not counting the spots between those two points, only the spots that are uh, before and the spots and the points that are after. So we had uh, x is equal to four and x is equal to negative one. So the only parts that we're gonna count are uh, x is less than negative one or x is greater than four. So those are the two that we can include. And if we wrote that in interval notation, anything that's less than negative one that would start at negative infinity and go to negative one. And then in this case, neither one are included because we don't have the equal to sign. And so here we'd start at four and we go to positive infinity and we'd use parentheses for both of that. And the symbol that we'd use here is union. So negative infinity to negative one, union four to positive infinity.